One more voice heard in the controversial coal mining practice of mountaintop removal. A new study is out today in the journal Science, where a group of scientists is calling for a moratorium on issuing mountaintop permits. The authors presented their study at the National Press Club. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan has more. The group of scientists say after years of research, they've concluded that surface mining, also known as mountaintop removal, causes irreversible damage to the environment and exposes local residents to serious health problems. The authors of the study took the rare stance of outright suggesting public policy based on their findings. Mountaintop mining permits should be halted. There's overwhelming scientific evidence of the impact of this on the environment and the impacts of surface mining on health. The report says people living in the areas near surface mining have higher rates of lung cancer, chronic heart, lung and kidney disease. The authors took into account inadequate access to education and health services in the report and say even with those factors taken out, the area in Appalachian coal country still has a higher mortality rate when it comes to those health problems. If you translate the findings into the number of excess age-adjusted deaths that occur every year in coal mining areas of Appalachia compared to the nation at large, it's almost 11,000 extra deaths a year. Proponents of surface mining say the practice is necessary for jobs in Appalachian areas and crucial to the country's energy needs. They also point to efforts by mining companies to revegetate old mining areas. But the report claims new growth trees fall short when it comes to the effects of CO2. Uh, while trees have been shown to grow on those areas, uh, the projected biomass and carbon content uh, after 60 years uh, does not match the native forest. I think at best it's something on the order of 77 percent of what you'd find in a native forest. The report also claims it takes nearly 10,000 years for soil in areas of surface mining to regain their mineral content. In Washington, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News.